Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a supernatural horror film. May the Devil Take You, Part 2. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. One night, Gaddies gets a visit from her friend and she welcomes her in. Her friend asks why Gaddies stopped contacting her and their other friends. Gaddies explains to her that ever since they don't believe her being haunted by their abuser, she stopped asking for help. Her friend insists that their abuser died a long time ago in the orphanage. But Gaddies insists that he has been haunting her even after his death. Gaddies then shows the bruises on her body as proof that she's telling the truth. She also mentions that the abuser is currently smiling at them. Her friend doubts her but can't help. However, feeling like she is being watched, her friend decides to stay over at her place. Later that night, the friend calls their other friend to tell him the situation of Gaddies. However, he thinks Gaddies is insane and needs therapy, but she doesn't agree and insists that Gaddies needs help and they should start finding ways to help her immediately. Suddenly, her call gets interrupted when something opens the window and grabs the friend's attention. She hands over to the window and closes it. Then she notices newspapers in Gaddis' living room. The newspaper article mentions Alfie and her sister, who are survivors of a haunted near-death experience. The friend thinks that these two are what Gaddis has been looking for. Just then, the window opens again, and outside, we see the abuser smiling at the friend. Shortly after, she gets attacked in an instant. The next day, Gaddis wakes up and looks for her friend. She looks around the apartment and finds blood dripping. To her shock, she finds her friend crucified on the ceiling, with her skin peeled and burned. On the other hand, we see Alfie and her sister in their apartment. They live in peace for two years after their haunted near-death experience, which involved witchcraft. As they sleep, Alfie wakes up and starts getting unusual visions and whispers from a satanic priestess spirit. She is reminded by the spirit that their souls are still due payment for Satan. She wakes up as her nightmare ends, and she goes back to sleep as if she is used to it. Meanwhile, a car arrives with suspicious people outside their apartment. Alfie wakes up to see burglars looking through their stuff. She fakes being asleep and catches them off guard as she starts attacking them. However, one of the burglars warns her that her sister is their hostage. This distracts Alfie, and the other burglar quickly tases her. Then, Alfie and her sister get kidnapped, and they are brought to an abandoned orphanage. There, Alfie wakes up and finds herself tied to a bed, while a man keeps an eye on her. Shortly after, two other people enter the room. Then the man keeping an eye on her introduces himself as Bud, and the other two introduces themselves as Jen and Leo. They say that they are orphans who got into trouble, they mean no harm, and only need Alfie's help. They begin explaining their situation to her, saying that the orphanage was once a happy home, until the owner's wife died. It's then revealed that the abusive owner, called abuser for short, started abusing the children. After years of growing up in fear of his abuse, the orphans rebelled and killed abuser by burning him in the cellar. After many years, the orphans grew up and lived their own lives. However, one day, abuser starts haunting one of the orphans, Gaddies, which concerns the others. At first, they don't believe Gaddies that abuser is haunting her. However, after one of their friends died from being mysteriously crucified to the ceiling, they started to believe her. And this led him to Alfie, because Gaddies thinks her experience can help them. After explaining their situation, they free Alfie and tell her to go downstairs. While on her way downstairs, a doll catches her attention. This leads her to an attic room where abuser usually stayed. She looks around and suddenly hears abuser call out to her. This unsettles her, and she decides to leave the room. Just then, she sees abuser downstairs, and he suddenly charges her. Luckily, it is only an illusion, and she proceeds downstairs. There, Alfie reunites with her sister, and they join the orphans in their meeting. Before the discussion starts, Jen introduces Gaddies and two other orphans, Marta and Christy. After the introductions, Jen tells Alfie that they believe abuser has come for revenge. She also adds that there must be something in the orphanage that makes abuser able to exist and haunt them. Then, Gaddies hands Alfie a black Bible. Alfie finds this book very familiar and traumatizing as it reminded her of the satanic priestess. She heads out to calm down from her panic attack, and Bud follows her. Bud explains that the Bible was actually given to abuser by the satanic priestess after his wife passed away. He also adds that this Bible also changed abuser into becoming abusive. Alfie tells him that the Bible might fulfill abuser's desire to bring his wife back. Bud says that their friend Martyr researched the Bible and found out that something cursed the orphans when they killed abuser. Based on their research, Bud thinks Alfie's relation to the Bible could remove the curse marks by performing a ritual with Alfie leading it. After their conversation, the group heads down to the cellar where abuser died. There, Alfie reacts to something in the cellar, making Marta strongly believe that Alfie is the key to starting the ritual. So they begin reading the Bible for a ritual to remove the curse. 
Marta explains that this Bible is related to a demon named Moloch that likes a sacrificial offering, and Jen believes that abuser planned to sacrifice the orphans to Moloch for his desires. Shortly after, Alfie participates in the ritual, and Marta gives her a knife. Then, Alfie cuts herself with a knife, puts blood on the Bible, and suddenly goes into a trance. She sees the vision of how the orphans killed abuser by burning him alive. She also learns that before abuser died, he mentions that the orphans will never be free, since they're for his master. Soon after, her trance ends, and Alfie says that the curse should be removed immediately. However, the ritual has not removed the curse, and the cellar suddenly gets cold. Alfie realizes that instead of removing the curse, the ritual has unleashed the spirit of abuser in the cellar. Suddenly, the cellar's furniture starts flying at them in all directions. Fortunately, it managed to avoid the furniture in the cellar. Then, as Jen gets cornered, Alfie sees abuser's spirit grab Jen from the neck and lift her in the air. It seems that only Alfie can see him and gets scared when she and the others try to rescue Jen. After failing to rescue Jen, the spirit of abuser drops her badly on the floor and kills her by smashing her head. Meanwhile, outside, Christy hears the commotion in the cellar, so she heads over to open the cellar door out of curiosity. Alfie shouts at her to close the door, but it's too late. Christy gets possessed by abuser and traps the others in the cellar. The possessed Christy then chases Alfie's sister. Eventually, Alfie's sister gets cornered in a room. There she hides on top of the wardrobe, but the possessed Christy still finds her, following her smelly scent. Fortunately, Alfie and the others arrive just in time to save Alfie's sister, and Alfie bashes Christy's smelly head multiple times. Before the possessed Christy dies, she tells Alfie that the orphans in her family's souls are the demon Moloch's property, and abuser will harvest them for him. The following day, at Christy and Jen's funeral, Leo snaps and blames Alfie for all of the trouble. Alfie argues that she didn't know that the spell would unleash the spirit of abuser, instead of ending the curse. She then blames Marta since she is wrong or lying about her research on the Black Bible. Alfie then leaves with her sister and asks Bud to take them back home. Bud agrees, but when they try to start the car, it fails. Bud then checks the engine and sees that it's sabotaged. So he tells Alfie he'll get some tools in the house to fix the engine. Just then, Alfie hears the whispers of abuser and starts seeing abuser in the car. Shortly after, the illusions end and Alfie calms down. However, she suddenly gets attacked by the ghost of her stepmother. After that, Alfie wakes up, only to see that she got separated from her sister. She looks around the house and spots a twisted version of her stepmother. Then, it chases Alfie, while telling her that Moloch still desires her and her sister's soul. As she runs away from her stepmother, she arrives at Red Room. There, she spots her father pulling out smelly hair inside his mouth. The father then recognizes Alfie's presence and tells her that he tried his best to stop the demon Moloch. He also adds that he regrets his dealings with him in the past. He apologizes and tells Alfie that she must leave now, as Moloch's servant, Abuser, is coming. Just then, Abuser grabs her and burns her arm. All of a sudden, Alfie wakes up and realizes that it's only a nightmare. But when she looks at her arms, she sees that it's burned, meaning that her encounter with Abuser might be real. Bud tells her that he found her passed out in the car. He notices the burn on Alfie's arm, and so he applies bandages on it. Then, Alfie tells Bud that they need the Black Bible now to understand how to fight Abuser. Bud also tells her that when he was fixing the car, more parts of the engine were sabotaged. After that, he calls for Marta and Leo to come to their room. Meanwhile, Leo and Marta talk about the sabotaged car, and it seems that Marta knows something about it. Shortly after, Marta goes to Alfie and hands her the Bible to Alfie. Alfie browses through the Bible and notices that someone has tampered with the spell. She recalls Gaddy's biting her fingers as a habit and realizes that Gaddy's must have used that as an excuse to put blood on the Bible which alters the whole ritual and thus fails to end the curse. Alfie demands that Marta tell them the truth, since Marta knows that the spell is meant to resurrect Abuser. She confesses that she was tricked by Gaddis, since both of them had developed a love for Abuser. While Leo is looking for Gaddis, he arrives in the room with the cellar door and notices a ritual symbol on the door. Suddenly, Gaddis pushes Leo in, which reveals that Gaddis is responsible for sabotaging their attempts to end the curse of Abuser. While locked in a room near the cellar, Leo sees a younger version of Bud. Then the young Bud's jaw starts widening and tries to bite Leo. Leo manages to drive it away as he calls for help. Unfortunately, no one can hear him. Suddenly, Christie's corpse suddenly moves and charges at him. Then she grabs Leo by the face and peels it off while crushing his skull. After that, she drags him inside the cellar. After that, Gaddis uses Leo's death as an offering to let Abuser possess her. Abuser then reveals himself to Gaddis and possesses her by sneaking into her smelly hormone part. Shortly after, Alfie and the others arrive to confront Gaddis. 
Gaddis reveals that in the beginning, she loved Abuser and treated him as a father. The same goes for Marta, which is why she got tricked into helping Gaddis' plan. It is revealed that Gaddis was the one who tortured and crucified their friend since she wanted to resurrect Abuser's spirit. However, she could only resurrect him temporarily. In order to resurrect Abuser permanently, she needs to search for someone who had a close encounter with Moloch and find an article relating to Alfie's haunted experience. So Gaddis lured all of her orphan friends with the help of Marta and tricked them into bringing Alfie here. This way, she can resurrect Abuser and take revenge for him. She preaches that this is fate that brought them together to be given to the demon Moloch. After the revelation, she attacks Bud and Alfie, using her powers from Abuser. But it only works on Bud, which makes Alfie able to fight her back. As they get into a fast and furious struggle, Gaddis manages to force Alfie down. Just then, Marta gets angry at Gaddis for tricking her, so she tries to kill Gaddis with the knife used in the ritual. However, she fails, so Gaddis is forced to stab Marta and throw her ass aside. However, Marta manages to steal the Black Bible from Gaddis. Alfie tries to give medical aid to Marta, and she gets cornered into a flaming room. Marta explains to Alfie that in order to win against Gaddis' power, she needs to use the spells in the Bible. Alfie agrees and uses the Bible as Marta struggles to her last breath. Meanwhile, Gaddis is chasing after Alfie's sister. Fortunately, Alfie's sister manages to stun her using a baton. But it only stops her temporarily, and the sister gets caught eventually. Meanwhile, Alfie is using the Bible to get powers the same as Gaddis. She succeeds at getting the same powers, but at the cost of her arm being demonic. After escaping the flaming room, Alfie saves Bud and brings him outside. Then, she goes back to the orphanage to save her sister. As Alfie finds her, they both run into Abuser, which transforms back into Gaddis. Alfie and Gaddis fall into a fast and furious fight. After that, Gaddis pukes all over Alfie and forces her to a nasty tongue massage. Shortly after, Alfie manages to overpower Gaddis by throwing a saw blade in the cellar on her head. However, as they head outside the house, Gaddis shows herself again with her head split by the saw blade. Luckily, Bud crashes the car on a Gaddis and breaks the bones in her body. Seeing that Gaddis is losing, Abuser abandons her smelly body, and she dies as she resurrects Abuser. Then the bloody and physical form of Abuser is seen by the others, and he tries to possess hormone-weak Bud, but Alfie taunts him into possessing her instead. Abuser then tries taking over Alfie's body, so Alfie stabs herself right in the heart, killing Abuser along with her. However, before she dies, the demon Moloch visits Alfie's consciousness. Moloch revives Alfie, since he feels offended that she committed suicide. That's because committing suicide at her own will is the same as telling Moloch that her soul is her own rather than belonging to any others. After that, Alfie returns to the living and leaves the orphanage with Bud and her sister. Alfie knows the fight isn't over, and she needs to free their souls from Moloch to end it all. But this time, she has the power of the Black Bible. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.